How do you feel about a law stating that tickets, speeding, driving under influence ETC should be a percentage of the perpetrator's annual wage, instead of fixed rates? DUI is not just a ticket though. Money shouldn't be part of the punishment at all. Punish in some other ways, like community service or something. I would say that is absolutely fine provided you do the opposite on my taxes i.e. I pay a less rate because of my income. How the fuck can you justify a justice system where you are the majority payer for goods and services provided e.g. in the UK the top 5% of earners pay 50% of all income tax then claim they should be punished more severely for equal crimes and at the same time each vote is equal. You can get fucked. If I am contributing more, I shouldn't be penalized more, or my voice should count for more, otherwise you can get fucked. It sounds good, but if you do some research you realize it's not actually going to accomplish what you want. First, it's based on annual income how? If that is literally the dollar amount you get paid the way the government counts income, then you aren't actually making as much of an impact on the rich. Once you reach a certain level, you don't get a paycheck. Research how CEOs are actually paid to see what I am talking about. It's not accounted as income like you and me. Second, they would just jack up the percentages to a level that would completely fuck the poor and middle class as much as a flat fee does now. These percentages would go up every time a politician wants to be tough on crime. This would fuck a single mom who was a little bit late and trying to hurry as much or worse than it does now. The real solution is to move away from the tax farm, tough on crime doctrine that we have. Focus on reform, preventing recidivism, education, mental health, and determining who is actually a detriment to society. That is a much more complex and involved issue than you think. And no one wants to understand complex issues so fixing the real problem is never going to happen. This violates pretty much the entirety of American jurisprudence. This would not be fair or equal under the law. What this would be is a rebalancing of the equity in the system, giving a leg up to some and a harsh punishment to others. Inordinately, poorer people would have little to no punishment for committing egregious acts, DUI, etc. 2% $20,000 is $400. 2% of $200,000 is $4,000. While you may think $4,000 is nothing to someone making $200,000, you would be wrong. $4,000 is a substantial amount of money for anyone. Rich people don't wipe their butts with money. This would be a complete travesty and is not equality at all. Equality is everyone receives the same punishment for the same crime. What would actually fix the problem with poorer folks not being able to afford a lawyer would be public defender reform, which would actually move to solve the root problem. This is not a fix, this is a half-assed, half-thought solution to a substantial issue. Funny enough, the exact opposite argument can be made against a flat tax. I fucking hate these reddit bait questions. I actually agree with this. A $200 fine can be devastating for someone living in poverty. Revoking that person's license can mean that they can no longer work. On the other hand, $200 is nothing to a rich person. It's like the change you find in your sofa. I have always been a fan of making them for community service. A lot of cases involving wealthy people seem to just be swept away with money. Money can be earned but time is finite. You want to make a multi-millionaire really regret speeding and perhaps persuade them from doing it in the future. Charge community hours onto a ticket. I would be open to different charities and organizations. I disagree with it, but like where the concept comes from. I think all fines should be community service hours regardless of your income or ability to pay. Probation fee? Nope. Community service. Speeding ticket? Community service. Reddit how do you feel about policy that is only opposed by rich people, outliers who have power? It's a thing in some countries, I think it should be implemented elsewhere. I think there should be AA upper and lower cap though so it can't get ridiculous. Edit, also places to go fast, cheap race tracks or autobahn type things. The majority here seems to think that it's okay to spend someone else's money. Shame on you. Drive 5 miles per hour over the limit and a millionaire should pay $10,000. Bullcrap. So people with no wage get a free pass on speeding and drunk driving? Nice. 
I would feel poorly about a percentage-based system for several reasons. 1. Many wealthy people, particularly those who are self-employed, often actually draw a very low annual income for tax purposes. Some would actually wind up benefiting from a percentage-based system. 2. It would be difficult to predict what the annual intake would be based on such a system. There is a risk of that annual intake significantly decreasing and leaving the relevant government and or public departments with much less funding. 3. From a more practical perspective, wealthy individuals will just hire lawyers to dispute those tickets anyway. It's an area of the law with a depressingly high success rate in most jurisdictions. So Finland? Law must be about equality, not equity, therefore, could never be based on income. So if I make no money, my ticket is free. I don't know where all of these people answering lie, but here in Canada the monetary value of a speeding ticket or other traffic infraction is not the part that people worry about. Yes, it can be expensive, such as being on the phone while driving can be $1,200 and license suspension. The biggest deterrent is the fact that they will take your license away. Being rich or poor doesn't matter, you can't just throw money at the problem when the problem isnt money related. Get caught driving 30 kilometers over the speed limit. Congrats you lose your license. Lambo, or Prius, it doesn't matter. Questions like this one are so absurd, it's always just a stab at the rich, trying to hate on them more. So to answer this question, no, I don't believe it should scale based on wage. The only thing this would cause is for the 1% to slow down a bit, while the vast majority of people that don't have any money to stop caring entirely about the laws. Sure, that may sound fine, but where does it end? If we start doing that, not only are we punishing people for having a higher income, but then do we also give them a proportionately longer prison sentence, too? The punishment should fit the crime, not the criminal, excluding situations where criminal past is relevant. If a man who makes 40k a year does 10 over the speed limit and gets a $100 fine, but a man who makes 100k a year gets a $300 fine for the same thing, that's not fair at all. They both committed the same violation, but one happens to earn more. Why would we punish that? I know the positive of this is relief for those with a lower income, but if you're worried about it, don't break the law. No one chooses to have financial hardships, but you do get to choose whether or not you want to follow the rules. Edit, I'm getting a lot of hate for my views, which is fine, everyone has the right to believe in what they want, but my entire point is just that traffic violations should be the same punishment for everyone. That's it. Me, is jobless. Road laws prepare to be broken. Wait, what about rich people who no longer earn income? No. That is an unfair and illogical system. All this does is encourage prejudice by cops to target nicer vehicles. If you expect justice to be blind, you can't do this. I think it should be no money penalty and instead a Saturday driving school like for reckless driving. People who violate traffic laws actually need the class so they can learn how to follow the law. Oh hey, it's another one of those karma grab feel good majority catering threads. And as usual with those, OP's idea falls apart when confronted with reality. Rich people have chauffeurs. Don't need a law. After you pay the fine and court cost, the insurance companies take care of that for the next three years. Of course everyone agrees on Reddit. You knew this. Stop fishing for karma. This creates circle jerk and not an interesting debate. Idiots, please stop reporting these posts. I would prefer mandatory community service hours that actually benefit the community and that nobody can buy their way out of. Consider subscribing, 